Hello everyone, welcome to Mir's channel. Today, we present you a new generation of Mir Electronics Industrial Flagship product. The MYDYF13X Development Board. This board powered by ST's STM32 MP13X series processor, which is a cost-effective industrial processor based on single-core Cortex-A7 at 1 GHz. In the box, we have a quick start guide, a charger, a USB to TTL cable for debug, and a development board. This development board is packed with many hardware interfaces. In terms of network communication, it is equipped with dual gigabit Ethernet interfaces support the IEEE 1588 protocol. An integrated real-time clock accurately records time information. One audio interface. There are two USB 2.0 interfaces, with one supporting the OTC function. Additionally, eight UERT interfaces cover CAN, RS-485, RS-232, and debugging interfaces, making it suitable for various communication scenarios. For wireless connectivity and storage expansion, it comes with a 4G module interface, a SIM card slot, and an SD card slot. In terms of display and image capture, one RGB parallel display interface and one 16-bit parallel camera interface provide convenience for light visual application development. To access more download resources, you can go to the Mir Developer Center. Register an account and log in. On the product list webpage, you can view the basic information of all our products and download these files to your local device or browse them online. If you have purchased our product, please browse the My Products webpage, enter the PN and SN codes and add the product. In this way, you can download our software and hardware resources online. We use Ubuntu PC as host to preparing developing host environment. Just input the following commands. To build the file system with Yocto, here is the following command. Use USB TTY cable connect develop board to PC. Connect your PC to the USB Type-C OTG port of the development board. Set the dial switch to select download mode. The last step is to connect the power adapter and make sure the power switch is on. Run the STM32Q programmer software installed on the Windows platform. Select USB burning mode. Click connect button to connect. Go to the specified directory that contains the binaries and the flash layout files. Different storage devices require corresponding configuration files. Take eMMC storage as an example. Click the Open File to locate to the default configuration file directory. Then select the default eMMC layout file. Go to the Browse button and select the folder name where the flash image layout is located. Then clicking on Download button and it will start to update file. It takes longer to download the system, please be patient. For other storage devices, such as NAND flash slash TF card, there are the same update steps as above. Connect our camera module. Connect the power adapter and turn the power switch on. Connect the development board and a PC with a network cable. Type if config to obtain the network port IP address. Type the following code to open the video stream. Type the following codes on the browser. The real-time camera footage was successfully fed onto the display screen. We offer two additional option modules to save customers development time. Keep following us and we will continue to provide more tech guide videos.